So when we work with, um, with a web server, we're going to have a request and a response. A request and a response, meaning that the client requests something and the server responds with something. That's the goal of a web server. And in our case here, we have this HTTP library that I talked about last time, which is something that Node.js built for you to make um, a very basic web server. They take care of most of the things behind the scenes in this library for us. We also have like a host name. Who is this going to be on right now? It's localhost. So that's actually 127.0.0.1 or localhost like I did up here. I'll show you that in a second. And then we choose a port, like in this case, it's 3000 we're using, 1000 um, <laughs> as the port. So that means I have to put in 3000 up here as well. So the next thing we're doing is we're creating the actual server. And when we create a server, we get a request response like I just talked about. We get the client asks for something, you get a reply. The client asks for request something, you get a response. And then when you get the basic request response, we just right now response with the code of 200. That means everything went well. We set the header that we're just going to get some plain text back and we just sent back hello world as the response. So let me just try and show you this. I'll do a request here. I'm inside the Chrome and I've set up the network and if I do a refresh, you'll see that I'm actually doing a request to a server. The request URL is localhost 3000, which means I'm going to hit my server I just built. The status code is actually 200. That's the one I just showed you in here in my code. We went back the status code of 200. We set a header saying that we're just going to get plain text back and the last thing we're doing is we're actually returning this plain text right here. So if I look at the preview, this is what you get back. But I'm getting back a lot of other headers that are default for the setup inside this HTTP uh, server right here. But that's actually what this do. We create a server that is going to, for the very specific um, slash nothing, like doing nothing here, you get this response back. The request is this guy with all of this information here. But the response is actually also in here as a header. So that's how you, the web server kind of works. Now the last thing we do in here inside our code is actually we say now start listening on the port of 3000, the server of uh, 127.0.0.0 or localhost and then just lock this to the console when we are actually ready to run. So this is how we, we actually log it to the console. So that's all for this setup. This is how you get the server up and running. And this is just a very, very, very basic setup for Node.js that you can start using if you want to play around with it. So let's start getting a bit more complex. See you in the next lessons.